hey guys thank you for coming back to my channel this is lifestyle with lisa here guys i decided to do another um dinner for you guys to show you how i'm gonna do my um basically for dinner we're gonna have a baked stuffed baked potato and um broccoli and everything i need is right here it's gonna be real quick and simple fresh dish water have some plates and I have um, my baked potatoes right there so and right here on the stove I just have this heat on low because I'm going to I'm gonna heat up the bacon bits these are the ones that I get from um, Sam's Club I like to heat mine up a little bit but if you're doing like a casserole or anything you can just put it in there and if you're doing eggs you can just put it right on in there but when I put it on top of my baked potato or my salad, I like to toast it up a little. So, okay, let's get into it, guys. I'm going to clean these off real good because it's really nasty and filthy. These are the individual potatoes I get from my local grocery store. They're 99 cents.
So what I did, I just washed these off real good with warm water. And I scrubbed it with my dish towel. I'm gonna, I was trying to look for a potato scrubber. I saw on YouTube about a year ago, um, someone using a potato scrubber. I haven't been able to find it, but I'm gonna keep looking. But I just use my dish towel and then I rinse it off with cool water and damp it off. So what only thing I'm gonna do next is just poke holes in them. Be very careful doing this. This video is for adults viewing only, not for children under the age of 18. You shouldn't be in the kitchen messing around trying to cook anyway, unless you are being supervised by a parent or a guardian. So I just put holes in it and I'm gonna put it in on one of my plates. Though these plates right here, guys, these plates come from Dollar Tree. It's microwavable plates that we use. I bought these because I don't want my son using my good plates heating up food or, you know, they do their hot pockets, pita bread. It's all kinds of stuff. They heat up or reheat food. I don't want to mess up my regular dishes. So I try to keep the microwavable bowls that I got from Dollar Tree and microwavable plates around. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Just poking little holes in here on the back side, just to the side and the front and back. So I can cook evenly in the microwave is where it is going. I haven't did a baked potato in the oven in years after I found out how good it is in the microwave. So, okay, I put my holes in there guys. And the only thing I'm going to do just bring this over and I'm gonna spray it with my Pam spray is what I use Pam spray so what I do I just do the back it ain't that much in here so that's why I got this one pop it in the
I just put tape when I um, opened this up about a couple of weeks ago. I just put tape on there and stick it back in the refrigerator so when we're ready for some bacon bits. These are really, really good, guys. I get them from um, Sam's Club, like I said. They re they're really good. I've been getting them for the last two years now, but two and a half years. And these are the real bacon crumble bacon bits. These are really, really good, guys. Um, you can seal them up, but for some reason, my seal on here broke when I open it. So that's why I just put the tape on there when I rolled it back down and put it in the refrigerator. So what I'm doing now, guys, I'm getting ready to put the bacon bits in. the bacon bits so like I said I like to crisp mine up when I'm doing you don't have to do it when you well I don't do it when I'm doing like a, putting it inside of a casserole and putting it in the oven because it can just cook with the food but when I'm doing like um, a baked potatoes or put it on my salad or something I like to crisp them up it's really good now some people you can't now I have before when I first started buying this I have just used it right off the bag but I just like it better to be crisped up a little and I got this on low very low heat you don't need no oil any or anything just put it in there let it crisp up a little bit and leave it alone and this is my plate for it and I usually just put a paper towel down on there. I'm going to do that in a few minutes. So, yeah, the bacon bits are crisping up really well. Over here is the baked potato. I'm going to let this run twice. I usually, because they're big baked potatoes, so I let them run twice. Now, you can use your button right there that says baked potato. I usually, when this stops, I'm going to run it again because they're pretty large baked potatoes. And I want them to cook all the way through. So when they get done, I'm going to put the fresh steamed broccoli in. Y'all know I get this a lot. It's the bird's eye. Really simple, quick, and easy. I love those. And this is this is what I'm using right here. Country. I use country crop, and I also use um, Kerrygold butter. I still have some Kerrygold butter, but I'm trying to hold on to it. So I'm just going to use this tonight. So I bring you back when the baked potatoes are almost done, guys. See you in a minute. Hey guys, be back for a quick second. The baked potatoes came out the microwave and I'm about to get ready and put the cheese and the butter on there. So I'm gonna set you guys down right here really quick. And I just got two paper towels here. This one and turn it around and I'm just I put the put it up knife in there too quick but that's okay I'm gonna get another knife so that's how I open it up I just open it up like that and I'm gonna show you what else I do I just take a knife and I'm going to um, that's just a piece of the 
potato, the hugs, the skin basically. So I'm just gonna go pull some from the side. It's really hot. Some people scoop it out. I just scoop the sides a little bit. I got the paper towel to help hold it because it's really hot to bake potato, y'all. So, okay, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. And I'm gonna put some country crock in here. Scoop however much you wanna scoop is you, is your family and you, you eating this, nobody else is eating it. So, okay guys, I'm gonna put my cheese on top of here and I'm gonna put it back in the microwave and let it um, melt. The butter and the cheese, what a country crock and the cheese. I know some people don't consider country crock butter, but I grew up off of it. My mom called it butter, so. We like a generous amount of cheese. It's gonna melt down, shrink down really well, so it's gonna look like it's not hardly nothing out here anyway. So what I'm gonna do is put this back on another microwavable plate. Okay guys, the bacon is over there wrapped up, toasted up, it's toasted up and wrapped up. I'm going to clean up over here. I did not need that cheese. When the baked potatoes get done melting the um, country crop and the cheese, I'm going to put this in there and let it cook. So I'll bring you guys back when I get ready and plate it up. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Guys, we are all done with the dinner. We have a stuffed baked potato and broccoli. And I topped it with um, country crock butter, cheese, sour cream, bacon, and chives. And I did the same thing for the baked potato. And guys, I left this season right here out to show you guys. Guys, I got this about three months ago, and I'm so glad I picked up another one. I should have picked up two more. Y'all know my motto, <laughs> pick up in twos. But listen, this is a game changer. It tastes good on every vegetable I put them on. We've been eating this for the last three months since I got it. I put it on the broccoli, it tastes amazing. I put it on eggs, it tastes amazing. It gives it a different flavor. 
I put it on green beans, broccoli. I put on all the vegetables, and it makes me want to eat more vegetables, which I do. But guys, when you see this in the store, you can make your own. But if you see this in the store, pick it up. It's worth it. And they have other seasonings that's just like this one, too, that came out about two, three months ago. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Time to eat before things get cold, but I can say a prayer. Father God, thank you for this food. Bless this food in our stomachs. Father God, thank you for giving me the strength to cook the food. Thank you for giving me a house and a stove to cook the food on. God, thank you for giving me the funds to go and buy the food. I really appreciate it. Father God, thank you for everything. I'm so grateful for this food tonight. I don't know what to do. It smells amazing. But again, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, thank you. Let's eat, y'all. Bye-bye.